this is a great day. I, I, I told some people, I said, I've looked forward to standing up and saying this for quite a while. And uh, this has been a, a pretty, pretty well kept secret. But uh, throughout this, throughout the summer, Victoria and I have uh, we prayed about this. We we've considered whether this is the right thing to do, and we've decided that. Uh, and I'm announcing today that I'm going to run for the 15th congressional district and go to Washington D.C. So uh, I'm. Uh, Talk again about why you decided to do this. I, I decided to do this because, um, I'll say again, Washington is broken. And unfortunately, our representative has become part of the problem. And, and I, I have the energy um, and the ideas and the track record, a proven track record as a reformer to go to D.C. to make a difference. We didn't ask our representative go there and say he would and protest Planned Parenthood and then go up there and vote to fund it. We told, we, we made it real clear to him that this was appalling, that the selling of baby, baby parts was just, we were not going to tolerate it. And he marched in front of the clinics here and then the next week goes up and votes to fund it. That's just wrong. Uh, we deserve better than that. And so uh, when it comes to spending, we do everything we can to live within our means. He goes up there and he says, it's fine. We can, we can incur more debt. And he approves more debt limits, raising of the debt limit. And so, you know, the term limits is probably the, the most obvious. First, first promise that he made, he broke. And I, and I'm making it, trying to make it real clear that I'm not going to do that. And it's not just a promise. I'm actually doing it. I'm terming myself out. I am not going to run for the state senate again. And, every, and and all kinds of people have been telling me, well, Kyle, if you stay there, you're with the governor. You know, you can get some things done. He's going to be there eight years. That's okay. I've I've done some things since I've been there. And I will be there for another two years, or a year and a half, and uh, I expect to get some things done in that time as well. So uh, this this just when you make it a career, politicians are controlled by special interest, and the void and, and what they do is not in the benefit of the people. And I don't know what happens to these people when they go up there. Somehow they drift. Somehow they. Whatever they drink, I don't know what it is. We don't, you know, we've seen it. We've all seen it. We just don't understand this phenomenon. But the, the way we can assure that that's not going to happen is to say, here's the designated time you're going to be there. Do your best. Give everything you can and get out of it. And so we don't have a law that says we're going to do that. So I have to actually do that. The fact that you're running against an incumbent, <clears throat> an entrenched incumbent, Yes. That gives you cause to pause, but, but you talked about the fact you and your wife have prayed about this and thought about it at some <laughs> length before you made the decision. Yeah. Can you, without being too nosy, can you talk well, a little bit about well, yeah, that process? Well, no, yeah, I, I, you know, I normally spent, uh, I spend, some people play golf, some people go on cruises. Uh, Victoria and I spend a couple weeks in uh, Africa. She spends about six weeks in Africa uh, running our, our orphanage and, and, and medical clinic and school. Uh, so that's how we spend our free time. And uh, we, we, we pay for all that on our own. I mean, we're, we're our organization's largest donor. I don't mind saying that. Uh, it's, it's part of what we do. And uh, this, time, this summer, knowing that nothing was going to happen in the Senate, I took six weeks. And I took it as a sabbatical. I took it as a time to just really reflect and say, God, what do you want me to do? I know, you know, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. And so I wanted to make sure I was doing it for the right reasons. I wanted to make sure that this is really the next step and what, what God had for me. And so uh, I came back. Well, actually, 
The Supreme Court ruling took place on same-sex marriage while I was gone, and I have to admit to you, I'd had enough. I said, you know, this country is going down the wrong path, and somebody has to say something about that. Uh, we should not just accept this because a few folks from New York give their opinion. It's still an opinion, and states still have rights. And I do believe the way we, the law came about in the state, in, in the state of Illinois was probably not the best way. It should have been a vote of the people. Uh, instead of lobbying groups with a lot of money, putting pressure on legislators and saying, if you don't vote for this, you're not getting reelected. I mean, th this whole thing was politicized. It wasn't a vote. Of, it wasn't a vote of the people. And so, but it is the law. But it should be the law in every state. Whatever every state believes is the way it should be. Not just the opinion of the Supreme Court. We we've got to have legislators that stand up and say, "Listen, we're the legislators, not you." And so, I didn't see that. I didn't see a response like that. I didn't. I didn't see our congressman protecting marriage. And then the same thing with with Planned Parenthood. I don't. I didn't see the anger. I saw kind of a. Uh, uh, so he was obligated to protest a little bit to show that he was pro-life. But I didn't see the disgust. I didn't see the anger. I, I, in, in fact, we didn't see it at all when he went back and voted for it. We saw what he really thought about it. And so it's it's those things that I saw that said, I've got to step in and do this. Um, I was, when I first uh, put my name in the hat for the state senate, I didn't know whether I could do the job. And uh, through time, I obtained some confidence and said, you know, I can do this. And, and it, there was a time where I didn't have the confidence that I could go to Congress. I have the confidence I can. But I have, you know, in every David and Goliath race, we have to remember that Goliath was nasty. And all he cared about was killing. All, he was a trained killer. And he was pretty good at it. But the important part for David was to stay close to the God that he served and to be sensitive. And when he was wrong, to, to repent. And when he needed help, to cry out for wisdom. And so I'm reminded that I got to put myself in a position to be very, to listen. And um, so I, I'm going to, that's the way I'm going to run this race. We're going to run it with all the energy. I'm never going to have more energy than anybody. The establishment doesn't know the energy that volunteers like they're here today are going to bring out. And they're not going to, their millions of dollars are not going to stop the voice of these people. Uh, will they outspend us? Absolutely. Will we still have money? Yes, we will. Because people are generous and they and they believe in a cause they're going to give. Now, our gifts may come in the, you know, amounts of 25, 50 bucks. And now, if anybody wants to give the maximum, I'm, I'm willing to receive it as well. Uh, you know, there's uh, money is not evil. It's what you do with it that can become evil. And so, uh, it's, we'll be good stewards with the money that we're given. And uh, this is going to result in a victory. And as I said, we deserve victory. The people of this 15th Congressional District deserve better. They deserve honesty. They deserve a commitment that's kept. And, and I'm not promising that I'm going to turn this whole country around. But we should turn Washington around one member at a time. State Senator Kyle McCarter, candidate for the Republican nomination for Congress in the 15th District.